Members of Thuringen's conservative CDU didn't expect this election poster to draw any more attention than usual. It shows State Premier Dieter Althaus with smiling citizens, among them Zeka Schall, German citizen, card-carrying CDU member, and black. But the poster has made Schall a target for the extreme right NPD party. They've dubbed him a, quote, token Negro, and say foreigners like Schall should go back to where they came from. Attacks and insults aimed at me are attacks on the entire party and on the very idea of democracy. For 22 years, Schall has lived in Hildburghausen, a town of 12,000 with a tidy little market square, not far from the Thuringen forest. We've been having problems with the right-wing extremists for quite a while. A bunch of them rented some space in the market, and they keep getting more brazen. There are always two sides. But somehow, it's just wrong, making such a fuss over one black man. I think it's pointless. To think that this is happening now in 2009, I find it incredible. It's not a new problem in Hildburghausen. The NPD recently closed its local group here, but the mayor says that's not really progress. The NPD was too moderate for the extreme right-wing radicals we have here. They went on to form their own alliance and won 2.1 percent of the vote in municipal elections, one seat in the town council. Two percent of the vote. Is that a lot of extreme right-wingers or just a few? When NPD leaders from outside the area staged a protest against Zeka Schall in Hildburghausen, local people stayed away. The state premier dismisses the NPD as a minor distraction. They're not strong, but they're visible during the election campaign. They put up posters which attracts attention, but those are just localized blips. It's becoming increasingly clear that as a whole, the people of Thuringen are consistently opposed to right-wing extremists. Althaus's CDU party believes there's no need for special programs to counter the influence of the extreme right. The Social Democrats and the left party disagree. So far, extreme right-wing attacks on politicians here were aimed mainly at us, the left party, or the Social Democrats. Now a CDU politician is being targeted, and I just hope the CDU wakes up and finally sets up a statewide program against the extreme right wing, so we can do things like reach out to young people, which the right wing extremists are very good at. Clashes with right wing extremists are commonplace in parts of Thuringen. The mayor of Hildburghausen has been the target of attacks and threats. Last year, after the Germany-Turkey game in the European Championships, there was a small spontaneous demonstration in front of my house, where they chanted things like, your house will burn. Things like that do happen. In recent weeks, the CDU has been replacing the Zeka Schall poster with a new one. The party says that was planned from the beginning, but critics say it looks like the CDU is bowing to the extremists. If you create the impression that you're making concessions to them, for instance, by withdrawing the poster that shows the black colleague, that could be fatal. This is something in which all democratic parties have to stand up for their common values. Wolfgang Thierse is distressed that the NPD can mount its campaign at all. He says the government should again try to outlaw the party, even though a first attempt failed. The Conservatives continue to oppose a new attempt to ban the NPD. I think that's wrong. Not that I think banning the party would change the hearts and minds of those people, but it would limit their public activities. That would be a good thing. Althaus hopes he'll be re-elected as state premier, but polls show his conservatives could lose their absolute majority in the state legislature. For Althaus, the main threat comes from the left, not the right.
Naturally, what we're campaigning against is the possibility that the left could become part of the government in this state. That's why the second part of our campaign stresses that Turingen's future cannot be put in the hands of the left. His campaign appearances follow a regular pattern, a short tour of the city or town, then a half-hour speech on local and general issues, with no mention of Zeka Schall or right-wing extremism.